top 5 reasons to buy the i7 6700K or the i7 7700K. Yes, these are the top 5 reasons. If you don't know, I mean the i7 7700K, just an overclock version of i7 6700K. So now let's move to reason number 5. Same processor, new packaging or rebrand. Indeed, yes, this is the same processor. The i7 7700K is the same processor which is i7 6700K just in a new packaging. Intel, Intel, what are you doing? Do you know AMD? Do you know AMD Ryzen? I mean, Intel, your monopoly is over. You can't, I mean, do the rebrand, repackaging and then sell it for a less price. When AMD did better, I mean, rebranding for their graphic card. I mean, I, they were selling at a low price, not like you. So number reason four is very, very simple. Only one to five percent performance increase. Normally, hardly even more than one percent. In benchmark, if you see in real world performance, absolutely zero percent. You're going to notice a difference. Absolutely zero percent. I mean, what is the purpose of a launching a processor which even do not give me like 10 percent more performance increase? So now, number three is Intel Core i7 7700K short life. Yes, it's going to have a shorter life compared to the 6700K. You'll be saying, Jimmy, how can the 7700K will be having like a shorter lifespan? Just due to simple reason, it's an overclock. The base clock and the turbo clock speed is higher compared to the i7 6700K. If you overclock a processor, if it's overclock, it's always going to have a shorter lifespan. I mean, if you're going to use a processor for next five years, buy the i7 6700K or the i7 7700K. Now, number two reason is CPU temperature. The i7 7700K run much hotter, around 74, 75 Celsius, compared the compared to the i7 6700K, which run around 67 Celsius, which is like at least six to seven Celsius difference. If you want a processor which run much cooler than the i7 6700K, then just get about 6700K. Now number one, the price. Currently you can grab a i7 6700K for around 300 bucks compared to the i7 7700K for like 350 bucks. So there is a $50 price difference. Again $50 price difference. I mean, you're getting the same processor, which much better. I mean, temperature with longer lifespan. Intel, what were you thinking? So these were the top five reasons. So now let's recap. Number reason number five is same processor, new packaging. Number four is only one to five percent performance increase. Number three is shorter lifespan. Number two is CPU temperature, and number one is again the price. I mean. Because uh, the uh, currently the i7 6700K is on like on clearance, you can easily pick I mean for less than 300 bucks. Currently on Amazon, it's going for 300 bucks. Again, do your own research. Sometimes the price can go higher or low. But if I were you, I will never ever 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 pick a i7 7700K. I mean, you know what? I mean AMD is just showing the middle finger to I mean Intel. Intel days, golden days are over. If you're still an Intel fan, but good for you. I I respect you. I love you guys. But golden days are over. Intel cannot do the repackaging or just increase slightly, slightly the base clock, slightly the turbo clock, and then give us no more Intel, no more. If you like my video. Click the like button. Also, I want to know are you going to switch to AMD? I'm asking this question from to the Intel fans who who are using the Intel for like next 10, 10 years for like past I mean five years and that they are willing to use Intel for like next five years. Are they thinking to switch to AMD Ryzen processor or not? I wanna let I wanna hear from you in the comment section box. If you wanna support me, all of the links are in the description box below. Bye.